spread. Nice. Good evening, Greencastle. This is Nick Whistle. And I'm Max Levon Depp. And welcome back to episode four of The Spread. Today, joined once again by our head sports analyst, Cam Allen. Allen. Cam, I want to talk to you today about your uh, white on white outfit. What significance does that have to you? When I won the spelling bee in 1948, they gave me that for the trophy. Oh, customary in St. Louis, get a white hat every time you win a spelling bee. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, to start everybody off today, we have a little bit of a uh, personal life story I'd like to share with Human you guys. Interest, Human interest. Human interest. Our weatherman, Patrick Lawton, as you all know, was released by the spread nice due day. to the start of the pandemic. Um, it was very unfortunate. There mm -hmm. wasn't enough funds to go around. Uh, we had to replace him with the cheaper option over here. Um, Bring back Pat. Uh, we would all love to see him come back, yeah. but it wasn't in the cards at the time. However, I talked to him recently. He's yeah. doing great things in St. Louis. He is coaching lacrosse. He is walking across intersections. He is. <laughs> looking for lacrosse balls. He's looking everywhere. I mean, he's found a few. He's really just an inspirational story, guys. Yeah. He loses his job as a weatherman. Which of course is unfortunate, yeah. and is able to just mold and transform into this inspirational lacrosse yeah. coach, funding his team with nothing but sticks in the backyard, yeah. lacrosse balls and gutters. Yeah. It's just, I just wanted to give my hat off to that man. Yeah, he's a one of a kind cat. Bring it back then. Inspiration levels: Josh Allen, Pat Lawton, Pat Lawton above it. Believe it or not. Yes. Yes. All right, that's what we care about, Pat. It always goes first, Mr. Pat. Brother. Good place on our hearts. So now the second part of the show. We watched NFL Week 4. Now we have the fades. We have the hammers. Kansas started off with the fades. We did not like from Week 4. Timmy Brady in the pick six. First one of the week. Tom, stop throwing pick sixes. Simple as that. Stop. Uh, the coronavirus is sidelining Scam Newton. Our savior and lover is now sidelined due to yeah. corona. Fade that. Fade the coronavirus. The continuous fade of Dak and... Uh, end of the game interceptions. Dak, I mean, your fancy points look nice, your yards look nice, but I mean, when the cameras turn on, you're not there. Is he a franchise quarterback? He is not a franchise quarterback. He is not. Bill O'Brien, are you ever going to be a winner? The answer is no, and now he's unemployed, and now you will <sighs> never see him coach another game. FedEx or McDonald's? I got FedEx. Sorry, Bill. Cowboys suspect franchise giving 50 points at home to the Browns. Horrible. Terrible. Jerry Jones might be out as the GM. I don't. Wow, I'm gonna fire himself. I don't know if you can do that. He Russell can fire Wilson. Himself. Russell Wilson, fade your Twitter handle. Twitter handle. Excuse me. Russell yes. Wilson is one of the creepiest guys in the NFL. Danger, Russ. Weird pun there. Strange pun. guy. The Freak Phoenix guy. Cardinals made us think they were good, and they're not very good. All right, below. Mac down to two and two. Kyler Murray, where are you, brother? Need more of you. Relocate to Phoenix. Minshew, we want to love your game, but you're not looking very good. He's Gardner, good. Gardner, who does my plants in the front yard, we need you to figure it out. He's off. The Raiders, the Raiders, stink like white on rice. Yeah, they do. They were 2-0, and now they're back to 2-2 two and two and have a date with the Chiefs this week. Even. Now they'll be 2-3. Uh, Nick Mullen, Max, where is he employed? Uh, he's been recently hired by UPS after his... Awful performance against yeah. the Eagles, leaving the 49ers to. You know what? We're not even going to dive He's driving all, trucks. It would, it would, it would take, it would take us to yeah. a spot we don't want to go to. How many Nick thumbs Bolton, down? Good in the first two, two games. Terrible performance against the Eagles. Awful. Let's six Let's thumbs six down six for Nick and all around. Eight, 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 eight. Nick Ooh. Mullins off quarterback. Edelman, wake up, dropping, dropping the ball. Tyron Matthew, pick six. Where'd it go? Edelman. You got to hit him in the hands. He wasn't Squeeze it. Where'd it go? He was Squeeze it, Edelman. Where'd it go? Brian Hoyer was not the answer. Believe it or not, neither was Stidham. Thank God for Scam Newton. So the Pats were originally going to go to the that season good. with Stidham. Uh, they need Scam. Twitter is saying he's the worst football player ever. Worse than Billy Football. So now the loves, the things that uh, we really liked, made us hopeful about the NFL in week four. So the first question we must ask, is Odell Beckham Jr. back? Had a great game. The Cleveland Browns offense put up 48 points on the Dallas Cowboys. Still a question mark, though. Still, still a question. It's just, you know, still still a question mark. I don't want to say he's back yet. That might be diving too Are the Browns the back or are the Cowboys just awful? You guys let us know. So the second question that spawns from Odell Beckham Jr. 
So should Jarvis Landry just be the starting quarterback of the Cleveland Cheeseburgers? Yes. That lefty throw looks good. Baker? Yeah. Is he not it? Is he not the answer? I don't think Baker could throw a football more than 30 yards. See, these are the questions we asked. Two questions to start off the loves. So Joe Mixon, he had three touchdowns last week, making fantasy owners very happy. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. You made me very happy. Then Mike Evans wants to fight everybody on the field. That's cool. You're though. gonna get a lot of penalties. It's, it's kind of cool though. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah angry man. man. He's an angry guy. Really good at football though. Shut up. So he's funny. The Lions are also funny. They blow a bunch of leads. Blew under the Bears earlier this season. If you remember that game, blew in this past weekend. Detroit, city of awful franchises. Hate to say it. So we also love rules expert Dean Blandino. Love He's a great Dean. guy. Everybody loves Dean. Everybody loves Dean. We're trying to get into prime time, Max. He's you know, he, is, out. he is the off games in real life, but prime time in my heart. Love yeah. the guy. He's, He's always prime great time. Job. So then, fun fact of the week, Mark Andrews did not go to Iowa or Notre Dame. He actually went to Oklahoma, believe it or not. Next, we love David Moore, Seattle Seahawks wide receivers. Uh, Twitter handle, mm -hmm. it's at Demo Swaggy. Mm -hmm. That's how you make a Twitter handle, ladies and yep. gentlemen. Great one. So Teddy Bleasy, great win for the Carolina Panthers. They look good on Sunday. And I want to give a shout out to at the chosen one yeah. or at yeah maybe at the chosen one. R regardless, Robbie Anderson at the one guy. chosen one at the one chosen one. Yeah, there we go. go. Robbie Anderson, great guy. You killed it this Still week. Go pair shop uh, his merchandise on cool his Instagram pair. page. Yeah, yeah. And you know you know it says right here: no pain, no gain. He it's also tough. does not drive cars fast. Oh, he doesn't. Oh. He never speeds. No. Okay. Never has once in his life. Yep. Good man. So, Josh Allen, breaking news. Still it's inspirational. inspirational. Still really inspirational. And we're starting to like Carson Wentz again. Maxwell, I'm sorry, but bang, bang, bird game. He looked good. Normally, we've been fading him. He looked good. Ugliest Philly dude I've ever seen. Yeah, he's a yo, but hey, Carson played a good game. The Niners will be back, though. And the Niners will be back, and the spread will be back next week. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Beat the, the spread. spread.